Does the mere thought of juicy slabs of a honey-baked ham have your mouth watering for your holiday dinner? Then get your dinner table ready. We have a succulent surprise of a recipe for you from the Chunky Chef. Position your ham flat side down in the rack and brush all over with a melted butter and honey mixture. To prepare your ham for the oven, position the oven rack to the lower third position. The secret that makes this copycat honey baked ham recipe so indulgently memorable and as tasty as the real deal is the sweet and spicy crackling glaze. It transforms your ordinary baked ham into an amazing holiday meal. In a small saucepan, combine sugar, salt, onion powder, and the warm holiday spices. Forgo bargain hams that are labeled water added. Instead, opt for meat that is labeled just ham or ham with natural juices. Stir in three tablespoons of ham juices from the bottom of the roasting pan. Note that the glaze cooks quickly and needs only a minute or two to become magically delicious. Your ham needs a short rest to allow the ham juices to redistribute throughout the meat. Bring the sauce to a boil. If you're going to serve it hot, Generously carve the ham into slices and lay it on your guests' plates, drizzling with any extra sauce. Baking a ham is an easy affair. The oven does most of the work for you. Brush this hot glaze all over the ham. Place the ham under a broiler and allow the high heat to caramelize the glaze. The best roast beef boasts a juicy, tender interior and a flavorfully crusted exterior. To achieve the crust, we rub our roast with crushed black peppercorns, chopped fresh basil, thyme and rosemary, minced garlic and coarse salt. As a bonus, our roast beef recipe takes just minutes of hands-on time to prepare. Once you get the herb coating on the roast, the oven does the rest of the work for you. The heat will crust the exterior of the beef, while the interior of the roast becomes irresistibly tender and juicy. Watch your hungry dinner guests go wild, satisfying their carnivore cravings. Pork tenderloin flavorfully infused with a sweet, spicy rub and slow cooked to juicy, tender perfection can be mouthwateringly described with one single word, succulents. Exuding a robust sugar and spice sensuousness, every bite of tender, fall apart pork will have your taste buds begging for more. This pork rub is a coveted blend of dark brown sugar, sea salt, spices, and garlic. This sweet, spicy pork rub is so out of this world delicious, you can bottle it up and present it as a convivial gift for your favorite foodies. The brown sugar lends a complex yet mildly sweet molasses flavor to the meat, while bringing the heat from the peppers and smoky nuance of the paprika into balance. The dry mustard and garlic powder assert their distinct bold flavors to the rub. The most outstanding pork tenderloins are marinated, Generously coat your pork tenderloins with a sweet, spicy rub and massage the rub into the meat. Allow the pork to marinate in the refrigerator for at least an hour or, for the ultimate flavor, up to overnight. Nestle your pork tenderloins in a roasting pan, cover tightly, and slow roast in the oven for five worth the wait hours. Patience is the key to the juiciest, most knee-weakening pork. This grilled salmon with maple syrup and rosemary is one of the best salmon recipes you'll ever eat. Place a large sheet of aluminum foil on a baking sheet. Set the salmon filet skin side down on the foil. Brush the salmon with olive oil and maple syrup. Season with salt, pepper, and minced fresh rosemary. Lay lemon slices on top of the salmon. Fold the foil on the sides to create walls to keep the juices from spilling out onto the flame and keep the salmon bathed in them as it cooks. 
Carefully remove the salmon from the grill and set aside. Place lemon halves directly on the hot grill and grill for three to four minutes or until the flesh is lightly charred. Squeeze the lemon juice all over the top of the salmon and garnish with extra minced rosemary.